Hi there, and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Uh, today we're going to look at how I fix the notorious said wobble on my 1L D5S. So if you do like the channel, please do subscribe. It helps other people find me, and uh, you know you're supporting the channel. If you like videos, then you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. Um, it helps other people find my stuff. And uh, if you want to know more about when videos are released, then hit that notification bell, and you'll get those notifications. So what are we talking about? Well, a while ago I started my um, 3D printed plane uh, series, and uh, I don't know if you can notice it, but at the top, when the, when the printer's at its lowest point on the bed, you start getting these funny lines in the print, and they're um, they're just like oscillations. And it's kind of like either the print head's moving or the bed's moving or something. You can see it really well in this shot. So if we look up close, what you can see is there's these regular oscillations and they're actually um, rhythmic and they're in phase with the pitch on the lead screw, the Z axis lead screw, which led me to think, well, what was going on? And I did some investigation. It turns out that these um, features are uh, caused by the Z screw hitting the top of the uh, chassis. Um, so previously to this video I had actually bored that hole out a bit but because I'd got the casting in um, that's got the XY table uh, I couldn't bore it out as far as I'd like so here's a short video on how to just open this up so literally I just drilled this out with a step drill so I'm just cleaning up the uh, the burrs from the last time because I couldn't get in there properly when I had the casting in uh, but you can this was a pretty good job that you could uh, get away with this um, but uh, yeah so all I wanted to do was open that hole out a fair bit wider and uh, so I got the lucky, lucky drill out again uh, this drill's a bit underpowered for this size of step drill um, but give that a bit of a lubrication and then I blast away with that electric drill and as you can see things get jammed and it's a small bit well this is me all over to be honest get in there drill big holes and stuff and um, it'll be fine honest but uh, by the time I got through it um, I basically drilled it out so that the hole is now nearly touching the threaded holes either side of where the Z uh, screw comes through and uh, once I've got that sorted I just uh, yeah tried to get in there and clean those burrs up a bit uh, it's important to get rid of those from like a safety point of view uh, but also just generally I don't like seeing burrs. Uh, this is a deburring tool that I got a long time ago, so you generally use this when you're machining stuff just to take those burrs off the edges so nobody cuts themselves. And then obviously give it a good clean up. I should have been a bit more prepared and covered up all the holes in the bottom of the printer and all that sort of stuff, so um, I have taken the bottom off and got any, uh, there was only a couple of little bits of steel in there, but um, yeah do a better job than I did guys um, and then uh, once you've got all that done I've put it all back together and um, you can see the results apart from the top of the print on the right there being screwed up because I did something stupid you can see that the wobble has gone now and that's all due to removing that hopefully you found that useful so if you want to see how to do the teardown check out one of the videos linked at the end where I strip the printer down but if you do like what you've seen here then please do subscribe to my channel maybe have a look at my website and if you want to see more of my content there'll be some uh, videos popping up at the end here so thanks very much for time hopefully see you again soon and uh, cheers guys thanks